What's good, fight fans? This is Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. And I come to talk about this fight that's supposed to happen December 28th on Showtime in Atlanta, Georgia. I think it's a good fight. You know, everybody, um, a lot of people are saying that, you know, this isn't a good fight for Javante Davis. Um, what I can say about it is that out of all the things that people complain about, you know, I'm a big Javante Davis fan. I make, I make videos. I go to other people's videos and be in the comment section. I hear and know what people are saying about Javante Davis. And what they're saying is, is that he only fights Mexicans. He don't fight nobody that has uh, speed, nobody that has power. Um, he always fights somebody coming up from 126. These are the things that he fights bums. These are the things that people are saying. Um, my opinion, Gamboa is none of those things. He's Cuban. He's not moving up from 126 right now. He's there hasn't been, you know what I mean? When he fought Terrence Crawford, he wasn't fighting at 126. That fight wasn't at 126. Okay? He's not moving up. He's he's Cuban. He's um he does have speed and the man does have power. You can't call this mug a bum. People the people are saying this is a bad fight. Other people are saying it's a bad fight strictly on Gamboa's age. Strictly that he's twenty that he's thirty seven years old. Other people are saying yes, combination of him being thirty seven and him losing and um to somebody he wasn't supposed to lose to. I believe the guy had twelve losses at the time that he lost to. Only had two losses. He's been stopped both of the times that he lost, but it was Terrence Crawford and I believe uh um Robinson Castellanos, I believe his name was. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to lose to him. It was an upset, and, you know, everybody wrote him off. He was disowned after that. Uh, I just don't agree with it. I, I believe that everybody has a bad day, and when he fought Bud Crawford, I'm not going to call that a bad day. That was a good fight. Why was it fight of the year then? It was a good fight. He lost. He didn't lose to a bum. He lost to Terrence Crawford. The only bum that people say he lost to was Cost was uh, Robinson. That was the bum that he lost to. He only lost two fights, man. People, you really got to think about this in the weight class. Like, he just got to 135. He just got there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the specs real quick. I'm going to uh, start with Javante Davis. Tank is 22-0 and 0 with 21 knockouts. He's fought for a small 67 rounds. Um, his knockout rating is the same of Deontay Wilder's, which is 95.45%. He's 24 years old. He is a southpaw. He's 5'5 five, five and a half with a 67 and a half inch reach. Gamboa, on the other hand, has 30 wins, two losses, 18 knockouts. Um, both, both of his losses was a KO loss with a first loss was by uh, Terrence Crawford via TKO in the ninth round. That happened in 2014, five years ago. And in 2013, 2017, two years ago, that's when he lost to Robinson Castellanos um, via RTD, retired on a stool, basically, in the seventh round. Okay? He's fought for 100 and 195 rounds. His knockout rating is 56.25%. He's 37 years old with a birthday. His birthday's the 23rd of December, okay? Five days before the fight. Y'all talk about Javante Davis um, making weight after Christmas. Let's see if he can make weight after Christmas, after his birthday. And I'm just saying. He's also 5'5 five, five and a half. Same height as Javante Davis, but he has a 65-inch reach, which is two and a half inches shorter than Javante Davis. Okay. He won his uh, his last four fights. Um, Gamboa won his last four fights, and he's coming off of a second-round KO, knockout, straight knockout of Roman Rocky Martinez. Now, um, Gamboa is a 2004 Olympic gold medalist for Cuba. 
Okay, and he was considered the rising star in the sport before he lost to Terrence Crawford in 2014. Okay, now he lost his momentum after that fight, you know, and he wasn't leave. He fought one time the year after that, and then he took like two years off and he came back fighting again. Um, I think Gamboa knows what's at stake during this during this fight, and it seems like an elimination fight. Um, to fight the champion, I believe, is Lomachenko. So he knows what's at stake. He is an older guy. And um, I believe when Javante Davis was a teenager, when he was like 16, he sparred Gamboa. Um, he said it was good work, man. It was, it, you know, Gamboa was big to him. Because at 16, Javante Davis had no problem making 120, 130 pounds. He was, he was a small guy at 16 years old. And Gamboa at that time with Durante Davis was 16. You know, he was a rising star. He did not fight uh, Crawford yet, but he was going to. He was he was gonna, you know what I'm saying? And it was said that Durante Davis did hold his own against Gamboa at that age. He knows what's at stake, you know. And I believe he, um, he will be more of a challenge for Durante Davis than people are putting it out to be. He's putting it out... He's going to be more of a challenge than all the other people he's fought. Um, now, I won't say every single person he fought. I still think Javante Davis' best show in fighting was um, Jose Pedraza. Um, but he won that fight. You know, Gamboa's best fight was Bud, even though he lost. You know, Bud's... Every day, yo, people still say that Bud's Crawford's greatest win is Gamboa. So, please give that man some respect. Why y'all still saying Gamboa's his best, his best freaking defeat, best win, but yet he's the best in the world. He's he's this. He's better than sliced bread. You know, like come on, man. He's you know best thing since pants with pockets. You know, but Gamboa's is best is his best win. But y'all don't respect Gamboa now at one thirty five. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. It seems like a double standard type of thing. Everybody knew that Javante Davis was going to fight Gamboa since last year, yo. What's the problem? I don't see what the problem is, yo. I understand there's a lot of big fights going on and then Javante Davis fighting Gamboa, but it's a different step. It's a different look. It's something different than what he's been doing. I think y'all should show the fight a little bit more respect because it might be a good one. Who knows? I mean, but I've already asked myself these questions. You got to ask yourself, why was Gamboa versus Bud the fight of the year? Why? Okay. Didn't he give Bud problems in that fight? Ask yourself. Didn't he show he can box by making Bud look the way he looked in the beginning of that fight? Ask yourself for that. Didn't he show us he has power by making Bud do the stinky leg during that fight? So, X, you know what I'm saying? Like, a loss to Bud isn't the same Robinson, the other guy that he lost to, that, that Gamboa lost to. But people disowned him after losing to the better fighter, which was Bud Crawford. You know? And then... When he lost to Robinson, and he looked horrible in that fight, he retired on the stool in that fight, you know, he might have been just in horrible shape and just wasn't ready for that fight. But how did he look in his last few fights? Okay. But he looked really, really good in his last fight. He looked good in his last fight, even though it was against Rocky Martinez. I seen speed, I seen accuracy, and he looked very powerful. Still, to this day, he still looked powerful. Now, this is boxing, all right? I know y'all seen in the streets a 22-year-old get knocked out by, the, by a 40-year-old. Let's not, let's not get it twisted, all right? The man still has accuracy. He still has speed. He still has punching power. The man's still dangerous. His feet ain't slow. He kept up with Bud, didn't he? He's small as hell, and he kept up with Bud in the first few rounds. His feet ain't slow, and I understand he's not the same fighter that he was when he fought Bud. But he's not the same fighter that he was when he fought Rob Robinson Castellano either. He's better than that. He's probably not as good as he was when he fought Bud, but he's way better 
than, than he was when he fought Robinson. This is just my opinion. I honestly think this is going to be an exciting fight. I don't think it's going to be a two-round fight, and he's going to get Gamboa out of there quickly. I'm giving this fight seven to eight rounds stoppage with Javante Davis winning. If this fight goes 12, which I don't think it will, I still have Javante Davis winning. I think it's a seven to eight for eight round fight. Um, because uh um I honestly think I honestly think, you know, uh Gambo, I'm not gonna call him Chinny. I'm not gonna call him Chinny, but I don't think he has a better chin than Javante Davis. You know, I just don't, you know, and uh when you look at Gamboa's record. One thing he does do is fall a lot. He slips and falls a lot. Okay, he uh he gets knocked down. And another thing I've noticed when I looked at his record and the people that he fought that he really like does some shit. He does some dirty shit. He does things to get points deducted almost every fight. <laughs> Not I mean, well, how many fights he got? I think he has like thirty fights. Out of the thirty fights, he did things to get points taken off. Probably about. I wouldn't say fifth, probably about 10 of his fights, 12 of his, 12 of his fights. He did something to get points taken away. Hopefully that won't be the case in this fight. Um, uh, I believe, uh, Javante Davis can pick Gamboa off from the outside. Um, I think this is an inside fight for Gamboa. He's going to want to get on the inside. Um, he, he's just like I said, he still has his speed. I believe Javante Davis might be a tad faster than him. But um, he still has his speed, and the man is still powerful. He still got power, yo. He might have been slow when he fought um, Cast uh, when he fought Robinson. That's why he looked so horrible. But he wasn't show. He wasn't slow when he fought Martinez. His last fight, he was not slow, and the fight before that, he was not slow. This right here is not going to be an easy fight for Javante Davis. Gamboa is big. Gamboa is a big mo, yo. He's a big dude, yo. And um. I don't know, maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Javante did. Yeah, he did fight a Cuban. I think he did fight one Cuban fighter, but he wasn't on the same level as as uh, Gamboa is. I mean, we're going to see. You know, they're the same height. They kind of built the same way, you know, but don't be surprised if Gamboa looks a lot bigger than Tank in this ring. Don't be surprised. But I'm very, very ecstatic. I'm very excited for this fight. I'm very excited to see how Javante Davis look at 135, see if he's still as fast, and see if that power went up a level, went up a couple notches since he's gained uh, that five pounds. I expect this fight to look a lot like, um, look similar to when Javante Davis got that WBA title at 130 when he fought, I believe, Jesus Quayar, Quaylar or whatever. Cellular, <laughs> when he fought him, I think that this fight is going to look a lot like that. For the first round, you see how Javante Davis was just staying away and whatnot. That's how the first four rounds of this fight going to be against Gamboa. Because I expect Gamboa to try to get go out there and put his best foot forward in the first four. Three to four rounds, he's going to put his best foot forward. And I believe Javante Davis should be using a lot of feints, man. He doesn't really use feints that much. When he does, they work. In this fight, I think when he if he feints Gamboa, he's going to bite. Okay? And he can counter off Gamboa easily. So, I honestly think he should chill. You know, be on the defensive for the first two or three rounds for sure. Open up, you know, uh, for the third round and finish the fight out like he finished Qu uh, Quasar. Or Cellular. Whatever his name is. <laughs> that he got that WBA title. Um from uh at at 130 that he just relinquished that title but that's it and that's all shout out to two crews yo two crews two crews for holding it down in the cash app if anybody would like to donate to the channel to help the channel grow my cash app link to the cash app will be in the description below always like and subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about this fight what's your thoughts on this fight okay do you think that Gamboa is just as sorry as every single Mexican he's fought, just as sorry as Nunez, or do you think it might be all right? Always like and subscribe to the channel again. Peace.